Welcome back to the channel. This is Brampton Gardener and I am Rochelle and today on the channel we are making some jam. Garden huckleberry jam to be exact. It's my jam. No? So on today's video, we are going to try and make some huckleberry jam. So garden huckleberry, if you haven't seen my other video, which I will link right here or here, somewhere, <laughs> you'll see uh, I just went and picked them all last week and last week we made a crisp and we're making some jam. So there was a little bit of a sneak peek in that video, but we're going to go into a little bit more depth, not as much as I'd hope to because we ran into a few technical difficulties and some weather difficulties. So. <laughs> Here's what we got so far. So far, we just have um, the berries are in the water. Cancel that. It wasn't playing one. Oh, you said that. Cut. Okay, so so far we just have the the berries in here and a bit of water. And if you pull the camera over a little bit more, you might be able to see this is the vibrant color we're working with. Like that is just absolutely gorgeous. You can get in there with it. So this is the natural color that's just coming out. I've just pushed crushed a few of the berries um, to get that color. So what we're gonna do is some of the recipes I found uh, recommend adding a bit of baking soda. And what that's gonna do is we're gonna take out any bitterness in, uh, in the berries. So I'm just gonna take the baking soda and I think it was about a quarter of a cup. So we're just gonna add the baking soda in like that. And we're gonna give it a stir. And look at the colors already changing. So what this is doing is it's reacting to the alkaline nature. And so we've just changed the pH on here and we've changed the color. So we're just going to let this simmer for a few minutes and that's going to get that bitterness out and get a little bit more baking soda. So that's going to get the, bit, the baking soda, it's going to take out that bitterness, and then we're just going to strain it and start fresh. So we'll check, check and see the color now. Oh my goodness, that's totally different. That's really cool. here. That is a weird color. Okay and then I'm just gonna take these to the sink and give them a quick rinse and we'll be right back. Some acid. So one and a half tablespoons oops, of lemon juice. And we're going to watch that color change. Oh my goodness. Look at that shade now. That changed fast. So the acid brought it back to purple. So we went from blue to purple. And now we're just going to add in the rest of the ingredients and let this simmer for about 40 minutes. Sugar. We need a cup and a half of sugar. And I'm actually going to wait on the spices until a little bit later. And I'm hoping that the... Uh, I might have put a little too much water in there because I didn't want it to burn on the outside. I'm just going to let it sit and do its thing. After I dumped in the sugar, I later realized that the sugar was supposed to go in at the very end of the recipe. <laughs> this is what happens when you have someone else reading the recipe out loud to you and I thought they were reading the direction part and they were just reading the ingredient part. So I dumped the sugar in way too soon, but it turned out just fine. So shortly after I had finished filming that, uh, I was sitting out on the deck doing some flower bouquets, which is going to be in another video, and it started 
pouring down rain. So I had to grab the cameras, I had to take them inside, I had to get all the flower stuff inside, and I had to take in my pot of boiling hot jam. So I just finished it up. On the stove really quick, there wasn't really that much left to do on it. I just added in the cinnamon and the allspice, and then the pectin, stirred it around, and uh, poured it into the uh, jar. And let it cool down so out of the what i had five cups of berries and i got this one jar i got um this size of a mason jar <laughs> and a small um jam jar out of it so hopefully i will still have a few more out there to harvest we'll go check in just a minute and uh i'm gonna be able to make some more jam but it's very very potent like you do not need very much it's very very concentrated flavor so let's just take the lid off and see how it looks so I love these mason jars. They're kind of an antique style mason jar. It's been in the sun. <laughs> you can see it a little bit better. Uh, I got these at the secondhand store and I think they're pretty cool. Although they are kind of expensive. They're $2. Um, here's the lid and then here it's a glass lid. There is supposed to be a rubber seal, which I need to go pick up at the store. But being as I'm not really canning these and I won't be storing this for too long, I don't have to worry about that too much. Let's see if we can't get that in the sunshine. I mean, the color on this jam is just absolutely spectacular. You see it? It is so pretty. It is just the deepest, darkest purple. Like, fabulous. So if you're wondering what it tastes like, um, it tastes a bit like blueberry and blackberry, kind of maybe like a brambleberry where they mix a bunch of berries together. And it does have kind of a distinct little flavor to it that I can't really describe, but I find it absolutely delicious. So don't take my word for it, grow it. Um, I know there have been a lot of mixed reviews online. Some people love it. Some people don't like it at all. And I cannot understand how you couldn't like it. Maybe they found it just too bitter. Uh, maybe they didn't try the little bit of baking soda trick to it. Um, that might be what separates the good from the bad. I don't know, um, but uh, it's just a good lesson to never really take someone else's word for something. Uh, sometimes you just have to try it for yourself to see if you like it or not. For watching, don't forget to click like and subscribe, and I'm gonna post the video again at the end here of the, um, the full video on the garden huckleberries and a little bit more about them because they are in the nightshade family and it is related to deadly nightshade, but it's not poisonous. Thanks for watching, bye.